Here at Bates Memorial Church, Pastor F. Bruce Williams says he sees the effects that no deal is having on his congregation and the people that his church serves. Uh, as a consequence of this delay, we, we, we're seeing an increase in people who just need meals. And so it's increased from 425 to 600 people. When we have the seniors, we expect it to increase more with the delay. Pastor F. Bruce Williams says the need is evident from the food pantry at the Bates Community Development Corporation to members of his congregation who still need help paying rent. Friday is the first day of break for the U.S. Senate. The House went into recess on Tuesday. Neither returns until September 8th, but there's no deal on a federal COVID relief package. Sticking points include whether to reduce the $600 federal bonus pay for unemployment checks, a move House Budget Chair John Yarmuth opposes. While Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell blamed House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. The two of them have declared none of the priorities I have named will see a single dime unless millionaires in Brooklyn and San Francisco get a massive tax cut. States get a trillion dollar slush fund to cover budget problems from long before the pandemic. And we tax essential workers to pay unemployed people a higher salary to stay home. We now have more than 30 million Americans who, are, who uh, were counting on some supplement from the federal government and not getting it now. At the $600 level, that's uh, over $18 billion a week that's not in the economy. But more importantly, that's a lot of people who, uh, who are now living in the poverty level. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. And Congressman Yarmouth tells us that he believes talks will continue during the break.